boys, it really happened. My motor is complete. After 382 days, almost exactly a year, my motor is finally rebuilt. Right, every excuse in the book from this dude I'm not gonna get into it but anyways dude it's back it's running better than ever I put two hours on it today I got to put 10 hours on it before I can run full blast to break it in but I'm back man and honestly I went out today for the first time and I catch a stud all right I only fished for about 30 minutes and I catch a bigger bass than I caught the entire season last year so that will be on the next video but a quick rundown on the bass tracker. All right, 175. Recarpeted this entire front deck, guys. From the top, I got the lower inch five elite. All right, 65 pound Makota Maxim. Put in this trolling tray or this this uh this tray myself. Like I said, brand new carpet. Okay. This box. So you guys can see the rundown of how I'm organizing my boat this year. Okay, I got just a box of bigger swim baits, um, extra fishing line and uh, baits, and then this is my toolbox. All right. So that's the front compartment. The next one, if you guys can remember, I think my best um, modification to this boat is cutting this door in half or not in half, but cutting it right before the fishing line, the fishing rods, okay? Most trackers, this door goes all the way to the edge, and when you lift this door, you gotta move all your rods. Pain in the butt. That wasn't the best design, but I cut it in half, so now my rods, I don't have to move, okay? This is all my crankbaits, chatterbaits, Kitex, uh, lipless, umbrella rigs, tons of spinnerbaits, it's that time of the year. All right, and then this other little section opens up as well, and that's where I keep my camera gear. Perfect. And then this is my new addition that I just built when I recarpeted it. Dude, it makes my deck massive, like honestly. And it didn't add much weight at all. Just built it out of uh, out of treated wood. And it's legit, check it out. Put a pocket right here which is some dies, clippers. This is how I'm storing my soft plastics as of now, guys. Bass Mafia money bags, man. I'll do a bag with like creature baits and crayfish, a bag with um, like pit bosses and tubes and uh, grubs, and then another bag of just different worms, finesse. Then I got my jigs and then my hooks, weights, things like that. And then another little compartment way back there that I blocked off that I can keep things on its own. Cool. I'm gonna do a video on my um, terminal tackle boxes. Dude, they're legit. I'll give you a quick look. All right. All these compartments, glued them down. Dude, this is money. Got that from Fluke Master, but I'll do a video on that later on. Middle console, black that sucker out. Dude, this little guy I made out of just a little metal 90 degree, whatever it's called, and drilled holes in it. And not gonna lie, that thing is clutch too because I put any bait that I'm done with there and I let it dry out. So any kind of crankbait, spinnerbait, chatterbait, I throw on that for the rest of the day. It dries out, then I put it in my box. A lot of people just throw their, uh, their bait back in the box. It's still wet, rust, okay? Then I got the low range Elite 9, side imaging. This will be my first legit year using that, dude. I cannot wait to go look for brush and stuff because last year I got it and then my motor blew. So can't wait to use that. Dude, built this middle console. This used to be a seat, built this middle console here, 
the way that the door stays now is this little bungee legit dude super simple man keeps the door down put two cup holders in it hey it's saturday night gotta have a mixie two cup holders in it and then look boom just whatever you need rags scale clippers knife okay dude money storage and then you go in the back there's the motor man she's done uh, one more thing that I did to this, you guys, if you need more storage, which honestly, because I built that storage compartment, I got enough room for my co-angler and me now. But before that, you guys can come in here, pull this tray out, and then dig some foam out back there. I mean, I got so much space back there. I'm just going to end up keeping probably like TP back there and uh, probably just, uh, what am I looking for? An anchor. All right, I know you're not supposed to take a lot of foam out. I didn't take a lot out, probably just a foot. All right, so I don't think my boat's gonna sink that much quicker taking a foot out. Another thing, guys, in the live well, I always kept my live, uh, my calling system in this middle compartment. Okay, took up a lot of room, shuffling around. Dude, I just did this and I still gotta clean it up, but I just got this new calling system. All right, because my clips, if you guys have seen my videos of me making my own calling system, they weren't holding on too well. Bought these. Dude, and then I just drilled six holes in the side of my live well. So these actually clip in the holes. Okay, and then my door can shut completely down. When it, Whenever I just had them clipped on the side, the door couldn't shut all the way. So I still got to clean up all that stuff. But, dude, these things are in there. Can't pull them off because they're, the, they're in the holes. Money. Like I said, guys, um went out today first time in a year that i've had a motor went around i got to stay between like 21 and 25 miles per hour for a, a good period of time i did about two hours a day got up threw my rod in a spot the second cast latched onto a five almost a five and a half pounder dude water temp was 42 did i didn't catch a five pounder on lake anna not once last year so that was my first fish of 2021. It's going to be on the next video. Like I said, it'll be a quick video of me just catching it. Yeah, man. I'm excited to start making videos again. I'm going to be making videos on fishing, modifications, man cave modifications. I'll show you guys some of the things that I do in my man cave. Um, and yeah, just have a good time. I look forward to making these again.